long after the first settlement and colonization of Greenland by Vikings in 985 CE. Leif Erikson was tasked to spread Christianity to the Icelandic and Greenland colonies by King Olaf Tryggvason. Erikson's ship was blown off course to the south, causing the ship's landfall in modern-day Newfoundland. After this barrier-breaking discovery of North America by a European, Leif Erikson was a celebrity among the Icelandic and Norse, becoming an important symbol of bravery and heroism. In 985 CE, Leif Erikson's father, Erik the Red, founded the barrier-breaking First Norse Settlement on the east coast of Greenland. With him, Erik brought a fleet of Icelandic families, traders, and warriors. Erik the Red moved there with his family after he and Leif's grandfather, Thorvald Asvaldsson, were exiled from Norway for manslaughter. Long after the Norse colonization of Greenland, Leif Erikson swore his loyalty to King of Norway, Olaf Tryggvason, a Viking and famous symbol of the Roman Catholic religion. He was also known for his help in spreading Christianity among the Norse. Leif Erikson was to become King Tryggvason's envoy to convert Greenlanders to Christianity. According to the Greenlandinga Saga, or Saga of the Greenlanders, about 15 years before the main event, a man named Bjarni Herlofsson had been blown off course by a harsh storm on the way to Greenland. He would allegedly see what would be called Vinland 15 years later from a distance, but decided to turn back to Greenland. In about 1000 CE, on his way to further spread Christianity to the Greenland settlement, Leif Erikson's ship was blown off course, causing his ship to shift south and missing Greenland. The ship made landfall in modern Newfoundland. Upon arrival, Leif Erikson explored the lush forestry, plentiful with grapes, to which prompted him to call his new breaking discovery, Vinland, or Wineland. Leif Erikson did not only stop there, they would travel north to the coasts of modern-day Labrador, which was painted with dense forest, which he called Markland, or Land of Forests. Even more north, they came to modern-day Baffin Island, believed to be around Frobisher Bay or Cape Chidley, which he also named Heluland, or Land of Flat Rock. After this new barrier-breaking revelation, Leif did not settle the area due to a hostile native tribe in the area. But settlements would pop up years later when Leif's brother, Thorvald Eriksson, came to Vinland, but would eventually be ambushed by natives and killed. After Leif Erikson's historical discovery, he arrived in the Greenland settlement to his family to tell of his stories of Vinland. Word of Leif Erikson's discovery would rapidly spread through the Greenland settlements, Iceland, and Norway, and he would become an instant celebrity. He was celebrated all around and honored for his new breakthrough. Leif Erikson was looked up to as a hero, not only by his family, but all people across Greenland, Iceland, and Norway. Mostly forgotten in history, outside Scandinavia, Leif Erikson's legacy was seemingly unknown. Until the 19th century to early 20th century when Scandinavians started emigrating to America, the masses of Scandinavians looked up to Leif Erikson as a symbol of bravery, as a hero, 
inspiration, and motivation. More immigrants in the U.S. discovered Leif Erikson's impact on history when the Norse sagas of Erik the Red and Vinland were translated to English in 1838. From 1885 to the present day United States, statues were being erected in places such as Boston, Milwaukee, St. Paul, and Seattle, and many more to commemorate the impact Scandinavians have made on the United States. Statues were also erected in Reykjavik, Iceland, Trondheim, Norway, and Bratehild, Greenland. In 2015, the Museum of Iceland began an annual Leif Erikson Award Ceremony to award explorers around the world that have broken barriers and exploration in today's society. Society.